Folks, gay marriage is still a controversial issue in this country, despite the fact that it's not. <laughs> I think everyone should be able to love whoever they want, so I was miffed when Kentucky County clerk and forehead magnate Kim Davis <laughs> refused to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples, but I also felt bad for her when that judge sent her to jail, and even worse, when she was sentenced to spend an afternoon with Mike Huckabee. <laughs> it's cruel and unusual. Because she's not alone. Just look at Iowa congressman and freshly plucked owl Steve King. <laughs> While introducing Mike Huckabee at a campaign event just this summer, King criticized the Supreme Court's ruling that legalized gay marriage by claiming it means, quote, you can marry my lawnmower. <laughs> it makes sense. I mean, who hasn't looked at a manifold on a two stroke tour and thought, damn, I wouldn't mind yanking that cord? <laughs> and keep in mind, He's a congressman. King's not some crazy old man yelling us to get off his lawn and onto his mower. <laughs> he has sound legal backing for his theories. It's some guy he met. He says, I had a lawyer tell me what it brings about is it only requires one human being in this relationship that you could marry your lawnmower with this decision. I think he's right. Yes, the Supreme Court's decision was very clear. Marriage is between one man and any other noun. <laughs> I'm not surprised. My college roommate was in a common law marriage with a tube sock. <laughs> and. <laughs> they were from different backgrounds, but somehow they made it work. And Congressman King's not the only one who believes gay marriage has opened the matrimonial floodgates. So does former doctor and future former candidate Ben Carson, <laughs> who recently warned that if same-sex couples are allowed to marry, then more groups will also want the right to marry. Yeah, not gay groups, some other groups. <laughs> you know, the ones who turn up every year for that crazy other groups pride parade. <laughs> the problem is, it gets wild. It gets pretty wild. Problem is, you got people who don't want to issue the marriage licenses or bake cakes for gay couples. So who's going to provide party planning for Steve King's nightmare marriage scenarios? I will. <laughs> because <laughs> because where some see a slippery slope to depravity, I see a slippery slope to some cash. <laughs> That's why tonight I'm proud to introduce. Stephen Colbert's all-inclusive wedding cake toppers. Here at Stephen Colbert's all-inclusive wedding cake toppers, we provide wedding cake figurines for any marriage imaginable. Naturally, let's get out the, the cake here. Mm, all right, now, mm, naturally, you've got the uh, you got the traditional topper. Mm, mm. You got uh, one man and one woman. Okay. And then you got the uh, non-traditional uh, traditionals. You got uh, you got two men, and you got uh, you got uh, two women, and you've got uh, two women and one man. <laughs> uh, I had a shot at that once. I chickened out. Um, <laughs> you got two men, one woman. You got an all-female thruple, okay, <laughs> and you got the classic uh, three women. <laughs> Two men, where one man is married to two of the women, and the other man is married to the other woman, but his wife is also married to one of the other two wives. <laughs> this fall on TLC. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, mm, 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 mm. but if Steve King and Ben Carson are right, then I have to be ready for any eventuality. <laughs> Which is why tonight I'm also introducing cake toppers for. A man and a ghost. <laughs> a man and a box turtle. <laughs> Fifteen babies in top hats. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower and Dora the Explorer. Okay. No swiping. And a fox, a chicken, and a bag of grain. They have to get married. They have to get married because you can't leave one of them alone with any of the others on either side of the river. Okay. 
Uh, we got uh, 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 a dog and two cats in a trench coat pretending to be a person. Uh, let's see. Uh, alien and Predator and Robocop and the Blues Brothers. Airplane sized vodka bottle and world's greatest grandpa. They've actually been living together for a long time. And of course, how can I not provide a topper for Steve King and his lawnmower? <laughs> May I kiss the bride? Congratulations, Steve. You two have a great honeymoon, but for God's sake, don't forget to wear protection.